Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So let's add a proper link to the dashboard. So if I now click here on dashboard, I get the proper link, but it says page not found. So let's fix that real quickly. So in order to fix this, we'll go to controllers. So this is how you will be creating pages from now on. Just add a controller and then add a corresponding view. And that's it. So in the views here, just to separate uh, the things or to be more organized, I'm going to right click and create a new folder. And this folder will be admin. This is what will contain all the admin view pages. Okay. We may create a folder in controllers as well, but for now, um, let's just right click and create a new file here that will be the admin. So let's copy the home controller and let's paste in here home class, but uh, this time we change this to admin and then let's say admin.php. Let's change the class name to match as well. Admin. Goodie. Okay, there we go. So now what we need are the proper views for the admin section. Yes, yes. So here we'll have admin slash whatever file that we want to load. So what I'll do is I'll go to... Um, wait a minute wait a minute in the admin section here uh, this will be the main view that's the dashboard so I'm going to right click to create one view in the admin so I'm going to say new file and I'm just going to call this one dash for now let's save this so this one is dash board dot view dot PHP. So that one is in the admin views, save. Goody then. So if I now go back to admin, I can boot slash dash. That's the home page. Dash board. I have a hard time spelling dashboard. I always mix up these at the end. Okay, great. So that is nice. If I now come back here, we should get an empty page. There we go. And it says dash, 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 100 yard dash. Okay, so let's go to the template now. So a good idea is to open the folder where the template is. And this is what I have done here. And look for the blank page. So this is the page that we want to use as the default. But actually, we are loading the dash. So let's load this particular one. Okay, dashboard. So this is index.html. Let's find it here inside our templates and uh, nice admin. Then nice admin again, and then index. Let's grab everything from there. Let's go to the dashboard view page, select everything and paste. Very nice. And then if we come back to our page, refresh, this is what we get. It doesn't look very much like our admin. And of course, we know why. We need to link the files properly. All right. So what I need is to carry all the assets from here that I need. So I'm going to right click here and say open containing folder so I can see the folder of this. And all the files it needs are inside assets here, right? So I'm just going to copy that, go back to Udemy folder, public folder, and uh, there's nice admin there, right? Oh, we already have our assets in there. Very nice. Okay, so since we already have our assets, all we need is to link them. So no need to copy there. So I'm just going to get href assets selected, press Ctrl D to select all instances of this and then just type in the root path like this, slash nice admin, because that's the folder name we gave it, then slash assets, that ought to do it. So if I now refresh, I still get nothing. 
Okay, so whenever you can't figure it out, just right click and wait a minute, was I editing the right file? Oh, this is why. My bad. Let me copy this right there. Copy. So you see, I'm editing the HTML page. This is the problem. That's the page I shouldn't be editing, right? So since I already copied everything, let me just close that HTML. Go to dashboard view. Let me find the this I was looking for. Control D. And then uh, wait, find all. Let me go to here and paste like so. Okay, that should do it now. Let me refresh. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. But of course, I'm sure a few other things are missing. So let's look at sources. Every instance of source slash asset like this one. Slosh. <laughs> source assets. So I'm just copying every instance of that. And let me go back here and paste as well. Like that. Okay. And let's refresh. Now we have images as well and JavaScript charts, etc. etc. Very, very nice. So that's our dashboard. But we don't need everything else here. We just need a few things. We don't even need the drop downs like this. Well, we can always put them back if we need them. We just need something that's like profile like this. So I'm going to leave pages and profile there. I will leave that. Uh, but I'll delete everything else except dashboard. Actually, maybe I just need dashboard. I don't need anything else here. So what I'll do is I'll go to the dashboard view here. Let's find the sidebar. Before we even do that, this one is dashboard. Okay, uh, that's okay. This side though, let's change this with app name. Let's replace with our name Goody. Okay, so that's our page. This is the dashboard regardless, so we'll leave it there. And let's go to even this nice admin should be replaced with our app name. Okay, so app name. There we go. Good, good. And let's keep going. Okay, so I want to find where dashboard is because there's a, most of this stuff is menus. So there's the name of the user right there. So right at the username here, we can replace this first name and last name, right? So let's use our oath function. Let's do oath, drop, drop, get first name. That's not the spelling of first, like this. We can also duplicate this and get the last name as well. Like that. Also, we can uh, copy this and put it here. Then we get the row of the user. Okay, cool. Let's see if this area here changes. Oh, it doesn't actually, because here, as you can see, there's K, but here it actually shows Mary Jane admin. So we just missed that one. That one at the top, we should just show the first name, I guess. Let me just copy, it's this one here, K Anderson, Mr. Anderson. So we can, uh, we can copy this the way it's doing here by putting this and saying last name. Okay. Then we can put the first name here as well, but, and leave that dot there, but we just want the first letter of the first name. So what we'll do is we can say sub string. So let's get a sub string of whatever we return from here and sub string text uh, a few params, the string you want to cut, where you want to start, I want to start at zero, and how many strings to get, and that's just one. At the same time, you may want to capitalize this so you can say UC first, or string to upper, if you want, 
Uh, but let's see, you see first. So a lot of functions within functions here, right? Yeah. So what we're doing is we get the name and then we get a substring of that name, which is just the first letter, and then we capitalize it. All righty then. Let's see if that worked. And M Jane, very nice. Mary Jane, admin, very cool. Okay, then let's delete all of this. So I'm going to get dashboard here and find it. So I'm going to search for dashboard. Now when searching, you can click here to make sure it's a case sensitive so that you get the capitalized version. So this one is dashboard. So I'm guessing this is the sidebar. Of course it is. And the rest of this I can delete. Let me go down here to see where I end nav component. So let's delete all of this here. This is one list item. Let's get this other one here as well. There's plenty of these. We just want to leave this one with dashboard. There's also data tables. We don't need all of this at all. There's this one charts. So all of these are the menus on this side. Uh, on the side bar. So I'm just deleting what I don't need. There's pages, which has profile. This is the one I was saying. I can leave this with heading. Maybe we'll need this heading eventually, but uh, we can always copy it back from the original HTML file. So for now, let's remove everything up to here. Let's see this on other lists. Uh, sidebar, no, not the whole thing. So just from here, boom, boom, boom. Let's remove up to pages. Great. Wait, what's this dashboard here? Anyway, let me see what I have done. Refresh. Okay, so now this side is nice and clean. That's good. But where is the other dashboard? Okay. Things are looking good. Oh, it's this one here, home dashboard. It's the, yeah, it's the breadcrumbs. Yes, that's the one right there. Okay, good. So main starts there, then we have breadcrumbs, and then we have a section which contains data in there. So this is all good. I like this. Now, up to where there are breadcrumbs here, we have this uh, main, where main starts here. Above this, that's where the header is. So everything above this is practically the header because breadcrumbs start here. So everything above this part should be the sidebar plus the top side. So what I'll do is I'll move those things into other files so that I can include them with every uh, dashboard page that I create. So what I'll do is I'll get here. This is end sidebar. So right where the sidebar ends, let's go up, 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 up to the very top and cut. Then I want to create a new file right in the admin folder. Right click, new file, paste, save. So this one is the header dot view dot php now you may not want this header to to be mistaken for the other one so you can type admin dash header dot view doesn't really matter the file name okay cool then let's get back to the view and now we have an empty header here which won't be good so let's copy from other other view files, right? Like, let's say the home view. The home view has an include here. Let's use that. So copy that, come back to dashboard, let's paste. But here we're going to another folder, which is admin. And then this one is admin dash header like that. Okay, good. So this shouldn't change anything on our page. And if it doesn't change, everything is good. Let's look for the footer now because we need that as well. I'll select main and look for where it ends at the bottom. 
So it ends right here, which means everything below this is the footer. So let's cut that and create a new file in the admin folder, new file, paste, and uh, we can actually change some of the stuff here. Like let's put the app name as well. App underscore name like this. Okay, good. And let's save it. So this one is admin footer. Save. So in a similar manner, I'm going to copy this. Come back to dashboard. Right at the bottom, add the footer. So just like on the other one, I'll say admin, admin dash footer. Save. So nothing should change again. So since nothing has changed, we're actually good. So what this means is that I can have a blank page now. So let me copy this. You can see this blank page if I decide to... Wait a minute. Let's create a admin profile here. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. So let's try to create a new page here uh, in the admin section. So there's a sidebar here uh, in the admin header. Where is that? So I just want to show you what we've done with this. If I go to, where is dashboard? You know, I ought to separate the, the sidebar as well because it's difficult to find it like this. So it's at the end, I guess. So we have this list item here, dashboard view. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So this one, links to root slash admin okay so i just want to duplicate this one so i'm going to duplicate okay and then this one i want this to be profile like this and then i know the these are uh, the icons are bootstrap icons so we can get from the bootstrap website to know what to put there so we have a profile page there, right? Let's change the link to match what we want. So it's admin slash. So every page now is admin slash whatever that page is like so. Okay, great. Now to change this, I'll change this to person. I do happen to know that that's what it is. Let's see if it works. And there it is, it has worked. You can go to bootstrap, getbootstrap.com, icons.getbootstrap.com, or on the Bootstrap website, click icons. Then there's a list of icons here, and you can type, let's say, person. And there it is. This is the one person here. So that's where you add, you put bi, bi dash plus the name of the icon. Okay, great. That is good. That is good. Now, if I click this link, uh, where is this? Uh, right here, refresh. And if I click, it doesn't go anywhere yet, but um, it should. We will see that in the next video. I think we can move to the next video so we keep everything nice and short. So at least now we have um, something working here in the admin section. Very nice. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.